well this should be fun i got you guys up here another gopro right here what are we doing oh we got ourselves a yoke steering wheel baby uh i had this on for about six miles and i absolutely love it took five minutes to no no i took 15 minutes to install it um there's a bunch of install videos on there uh, most guys will tell you, oh, you need to disconnect the 12 volt and get back under there and disconnect the high voltage. In practice, that is a good idea. You should be doing that. I literally came in, sat down, powered off the car, swap switch, done. So instead of boring you guys with a video like that, figured we'd do a driving video, hence the good GoPro over here. Um, some of the videos that you guys have seen, if you've even looked at this show guys twisting their arms up all around and literally just being drama queens this wheel is so simple to use it's a little bit of a learning curve but i came into it knowing that i was going to really love this because for 527 dollars you bet your ass i'm going to love this uh, but everybody else on here that just flipping out crossing their arms while they're steering and all that it's drama it's for the cameras it's not horrible um, I had to run to Best Buy to get that mount, and uh, yeah, I caught myself getting a little twisted up, but I've had the wheel on the car for, like I said, six, seven miles. So figured we would uh, do a little drive on the way to work, and there's a couple spots that we'll go through to do some tight turning, uh, backup style parking, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. But even doing that little U-turn in front of the house, it, it feels natural but it's not because cars haven't had yoke steering wheels. The only other thing I can compare this to is um, airplanes. Airplanes have a yoke steering wheel. I've done a plenty of flying. Uh, 8731 Echo, love you. Really good uh, Cherokee 140 Piper, good plane. Um, I love it. Gas is 619 a gallon now, 650 for the good stuff, 660 if you're paying with your ATM card. So, yeah, I love this thing. So I'm just going to let this record, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, out at the Sundial Bridge. And uh, I love this wheel. See you in a minute. So as far as straight line driving, autopilot, um, it feels very natural to hold your hands right here. Uh, this feels really good which is nice because when you're sitting on autopilot, there's just enough weight on your hand uh, that you won't always trigger the, uh, the torque alert. Now, of course, you can also get the magnet right here that may or may not be sitting in the glove box for those long journey trips. But this, with your elbows down here, resting here, feels fantastic. Around town, I have found that I, I actually like to put my hands up like this. Just be careful you don't push your scroll wheel buttons. Not that that's a big deal, but it feels good hand show is where i got this from there was actually another guy on youtube that had um, an install video with a link for like 110 dollars off i've been looking for it and i will link that because that's a good chunk of change to save um but installation was simple the quality on this feels really good the leather is it doesn't it's not so tight that it feels it's gonna like tear but it's nice and tight it doesn't feel like there's any slop in it anywhere there's a uh, good craftsmanship on the stitching up top in here i can feel it with my fingers it feels like a lot of stitching so that's good um, it's not something that's going to uh, come apart i don't think uh, the steering wheel did have the tesla logo on the back of it so there was rumor that these actually come from the tesla factory then they're modified from there <sighs> take it with a grain of salt i'm not in china i don't know but if it was cast with the tesla t on it i'm sure it was and uh, it had a really good smell of uh, uh, cutting oil on it i think it's cutting oil that's what it smells like to me and i like that smell so it didn't bother me it's pretty much already gone anyway but when you open the box that it came in oh man and speaking of the box three weeks um, i am not the patient type so it felt like three months i think it was the 26th of last month that i ordered it and today's the 15th so pretty darn good the emails back and forth were great uh it did take longer for mine i got caught up in the middle of some week-long holiday in china i don't know um so it probably would have only taken two weeks but whatever i'm extremely happy with the craftsmanship 
because like I said, they do have to modify it from Tesla's. I have no problems with this at all. So we're coming up on the Sundial Bridge and uh, we'll do some circle driving in there and uh, we'll do some backups and just kind of over speed bumps and we'll just kind of look at it. Oh, I do have uh, the steering in sport mode so it is a little bit tighter. Um, I honestly can't really tell a difference with the yoke between the different drive modes. Well, I guess there is a little bit. It doesn't feel as... Um, as prolific with the round wheel it, you, it feels really good but it doesn't feel as super tight so just took our exit let's uh, see what we can do up here I shut off the forward-facing camera because you guys are more interested in seeing the steering wheel than me so here we go there's a big old parking lot that we're gonna pull into so here's a 90 degree left turn into a parking lot and the wheel just comes right back around it feels natural so now we're gonna stop and uh, back up I mean, everybody that's doing shit like this and getting their arms all twisted, they're doing it for the camera only. This is so simple to use. Yes, there's a learning curve. Yes, it's going to take a second to retrain your hands on where to go. That's just muscle memory. This I like. You can get to these much quicker. The one thing that I do find a little better, but not by much, is I can see like the turn indicator down here. I just wish Tesla would move it up here because I still, when my hand is here, I still have to go like this to see it completely. First world problems. So let's go, we're gonna pull out here and we'll just do a nice right hand turn. And that's it guys. It really, really isn't that big of a deal to make tight turns with this yoke. You can see how it just kind of, it feels natural coming around. Now, if you get into a situation where you're like, oh shit, there's something in the road and you go to grab the wheel, I mean, then you got a problem. <laughs> but you're supposed to be paying attention to the road anyway. But instead of reaching up here, you got it right here. Now, I I don't know what else to say about it. If, if a yoke isn't your thing, that's, you know, that's your business. I absolutely find this a lot of fun it brings the driving dynamic to a whole new level the one-handed steering feels really good with it but it's all in hand placement you just can't let your hand ride the steering wheel in a turn like you normally would and that's the only thing that you're gonna have to retrain your brain on is hand placement let's do another u-turn around here over around the steering wheels pegged well not pegged because i don't want to burn up the power steering pump and i hate it when people do that but i mean this is absolutely nothing the car handles very well and i'm very pleased so let's get out of sport mode and now well, let's go into standard mode so we will do that same little figure eight thing that we just did. That will go long over here. So, I mean, you really, 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 really gotta hate yoke steering wheels or tesla or maybe even yourself or your mom or your dog and you know maybe even your dad but if this isn't your thing that's totally fine but don't be one of those drama queens 
ooh, are we gonna hit that curb? No, saying that you gotta sit here and really get your arms all twisted up because that's just bullshit. This drives wonderful. And I got my sippy cup down there rolling around. Normally I would go, ugh, drag my splitter. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. It. So there you have it, guys. It. Uh, it handles extremely well. I absolutely love this wheel. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute to get the muscle memory down and get used to it, and uh, maybe a couple other things. But the wheels, all the scroll wheels, all still work the same. Everything on this is exactly as the round wheel, except it's a yoke out of an airplane. That's the only difference. So maybe that's why I took to a little bit better. I have hundreds of hours behind a Cherokee. Um, I just think it looks really cool. I think it handles very well. And I think that uh, you will not be disappointed. I hemmed and hawed for probably two weeks. Uh, not so much the money, just I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I saw a couple of them go on Craigslist really quick at full price. So I knew if I didn't like it, I would be able to at least get, you know, 90% of my money back, which was fine. But uh, yeah, this thing is every bit of the word fantastic and uh, I'm glad I bought it. So drop a comment, any questions at all. I talk a lot during this video, but uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. If you guys haven't subscribed, think about it just click that little button I'm trying to get to that 1,000 yes because that's where you get monetized so I'll start making like an extra five dollars a year at that point so uh, just a personal goal of mine and uh, hit that subscribe button guys and we'll get this all uploaded we'll see you on the next one